Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm Samsung S3 with me, the GTI 9300, and today we are going to take a look at the Flyme US 6 for the Samsung Galaxy S3. So yeah, I will split this video into two parts. So in the first part we are going to take a look at this ROM, and in the second part I am going to show you how to install this Flyme US 6 to your Samsung Galaxy S3. And right, so now let's start with the review. So this here is the um, home screen of Flyme OS 6. As you can see, you got a different kind of uh, home screen here. So you don't have this app drawer as on other ROMs, on TouchWiz-based ROMs or on AOSP-based ROMs. So this here is a Chinese ROM, just like MIUI. So every, each app has got a new design, so everything is themed. Um, for example, we can go into settings here, and here you can see um, that it looks really different from that what we get on other ROMs. Um, but in general the uh, options are almost the same so we can go to the notification and status bar here here you can um, block some notifications and all that which what you can do on almost all, every ROM and yeah you can also ch um, enable that um, network speed indicator there and uh, right we can also enable tinted status bar which is kind of a kind of useless feature because Android Marshmallow um, already has that feature um, I mean, if you open YouTube, for example, the status bar will be red too. But in general, um, it's nice to see that um, it has also got some features which you can turn on or turn off. And uh, right, so now let's go back. Um, right, you get all that standard stuff, um, just like do not disturb or sound and vibration and all that. You've got a theme store, which is also really nice, so here you can change your theme. But the thing is that the theme store is totally in Chinese, Chinese. so if you try to download a theme, you have to um, log into your Flyme or, or Maizu account, I don't know. Um, but actually it's fully in Chinese and it's so hard to set up an account there. Um, Right, um, you can enable or disable the Flyme style icon, so um, if you enable this one, you will get all the icons from the Flyme, Flyme icon pack and all that things. So let's go back here. Of course, you also got an easy mode on this ROM here in the brightness um, uh, brightness and display and brightness section. You don't get anything new here, so you can um, Set the auto lock, auto rotate, and all that. You can change the font size, the brightness, of course, and all that things which we have on all ROMs. Um, you can also go to battery here. So here we get this um, Mizu, Mizu or Flyme um, device maintainers or something like that. So here you can enable. Um, here, here you can see the um, power usage and all that, which uh, is really detailed. So I like that one, and. Uh, Right, of course you also get something called security here, you get all that standard things, but you also get um, app lock uh, on this ROM, which is also really nice to see. So the last thing which I want to show you here in the settings is that this ROM is a multi-language ROM, so you get a lot of languages. And I think it's even more than on touchless based drums, which is really amazing to see. But I have to say, I mean, I'm a, I'm a Turkish guy and I've tried the Turkish language and I have to say that it's translated like crap. I mean, it's translated really bad. Um, I think the, um, other there are also other languages which are not translated uh, really good here. But I mean, it's okay. You can use it. Um, oh shit, now it's in Chinese, I guess. Um, fuck. Oh, this is also something which I need to say here. So, yeah, now let's take a look at all of the other apps. So this here is the lock screen, as you can see. So it looks really uh, similar to iOS or some older iOS versions. You can open the camera directly from here. And you can also um, swipe up to open or to unlock the device. So you will also get this blur effect here, just like on older iOS versions. And right, so this here is the home screen. So as I've already said, as I have already said, you get all these themed apps. Um, so they look really different from stock Android. So for example, if we open the um, clock app here, you can see it has this orange accent color here, which looks also really nice. 
And right, the thing is um, that you can't. I mean, I mean, this is a really big bug of this ROM. A huge bug here is that the home button does not work. You know, it works if we want to go to the recent apps panel here, but it does not work if we want to close an app. So to close an app, you need to press the uh, back button sometimes here, and after that, it will work. So this is a big bug. I'm, but I'm quite sure that the developer will fix that in a future build. Um, so this ROM also has um, OTA update. Here, um, I'm not quite sure, but I think it gets uh, weekly updates, which is also really nice. And yeah, you can also see that the recent apps panel looks really similar to to iOS here. And uh, yeah, so now let's move on to the status bar here. So here you can see that you got um, this. Um, status bar which looks really similar to the old one um you know you have this uh, toggles here this white toggles these rounded toggles um this brightness slider at the bottom and all that you can also directly go to the wi-fi as you are um which are next to you here which is also a really nice feature here you have this edit button so here you can um, add some new toggles or hide some toggles which is also really nice and uh, Right, so this here is the notification panel, as you can see it's really smooth and has a really nice animation in my opinion. So the camera of this um, ROM is also the one, uh, the Flyme OS camera, and as you can see it looks really, really, really similar to the iOS camera. So here you have different modes, here you can go to the video mode or to the photo mode, I mean it looks really similar to the iOS, um, iOS photo app. So here you can go to the settings. And here there are less uh, settings available, but you know you can you have all that basic settings available, which is nice to see. So this is basically it. Um, uh, so the ROM is based on Android 6.0.1, but the thing is that Meizu's own devices, I mean the devices of the company itself, are still running on Lollipop. So it's funny to see that Meizu is. Um, rolling out FlyMeOS based on Android Marshmallow for other devices, but um, yeah. So now let me show you how to install this to your Samsung Galaxy S3. So the first thing you need to do is to download the ROM of course, and you also need TWRP recovery installed on your device. After you have um, done that, you need to power off your device and boot into the recovery mode. So let me do that first. So the device is now turned off and, and in order to get to the recovery mode you need to press the volume up button, the home button and the power on button at the same time. So let's do that. Here you need to do a wipe first, so let's do that also. After that go to the install option here and locate the ROM where you have stored it. In my case it's in the internal storage, just press on it and locate the ROM. So in my case it's here, just press on it and swipe to flash. So the installation is finished now and you can just reboot this um, phone. Now the device will boot up, um, after that you just need to set up your phone. So this was basically it, if you liked the video give it a thumbs up, if, didn't like the, if you didn't like the video give it a dislike and peace out.